If you are caught driving without insurance, it can cost you $1,000 in fines, fees, court costs, and impound charges. But that hasn't stopped an estimated 600,000 Oklahomans from doing it anyway. Now, two laws are being proposed that would substantially increase the punishment for driving uninsured. The proposed laws would allow police to take the license plate of any vehicle that does not have the minimum state insurance coverage. Insurance Commissioner John Doak says the number one complaint he hears is the number of people driving on Oklahoma roadways who do not have insurance. We've done the PSAs, we've tried to educate Oklahomans, and you say, do you really have to do that? Yes, you do. There's folks coming out of high school, there's new drivers, there's folks in our state that don't know that you need to have mandatory liability insurance in our state. Callie Hurth works in the insurance commissioner's office. She has firsthand knowledge of what can happen when an uninsured motorist causes a collision, one involving her and three family members. The driver was going an estimated 40 to 60 miles per hour on a residential street and failed to stop at an intersection stop sign where we were passing through at the same time, T-boning my vehicle. We ended up taking every penny of our uninsured motorist coverage, which was a drop in the hat compared to the overall expenses, and had to come to terms with the fact that none of us would ever be whole after this accident. There really are no words to express the pain, frustration, and, and trauma, physically and emotionally, that we faced because of the choices of that driver that night. The bills also require forced liability insurance to be placed on the vehicle for five days or until the owner buys insurance. The House version of the bill would also increase the fine for driving without insurance from $750 from the current $250. Commissioner Doak says that's necessary because some drivers have looked at the cost of getting caught versus the cost of insurance and made a choice to cheat. There is some element um, out there that says, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to I'm going to pay the fine and I'm not going to carry the insurance. And we've seen this around the state. So there is some theory out there that the the fine should be equal to the cost of the insurance and I think you might see a percentage of the folks start to carry it. State Senator David Holt is sponsor of the Senate version of the bill. He says on its face this is a proposal that would appear to conflict with some of his basic philosophies. You start with the philosophy that it's okay to ask something of drivers on public roads because, you know, I'm a free market guy, I'm a conservative, you know, my first instinct is not always to force people to get insurance. This is something we've had a, you know, debate about in this country the last couple of years. But this is different because we're on, we're on public roads. Estimates by the Insurance Research Council place the number of uninsured motorists in Oklahoma at nearly 25 percent, are just under 600,000 motorists. Why are 25 percent of our motorists driving without insurance. This is an albatross around the motorist necks of Oklahoma, costing us millions of dollars in insurance premiums above and beyond what we should be paying. Senator Holt says the number of people driving Oklahoma roadways without insurance may be much higher. We have 25 to 40 percent based on different people's reckoning uh, of drivers are not carrying any insurance at all. Uh, I myself was, was, my car was almost totaled um, about four years ago by an uninsured, unlicensed uh, uh, driver. Oklahoma Highway Patrol Trooper Betsy Randolph says from a law enforcement standpoint, getting tougher on uninsured motorists is important. We've needed some teeth in the, in the laws for a long time that would encourage people to do the right thing, which is just get the limited liability insurance. And for law enforcement, those teeth would go even further than the bills now in the legislature. When you roll up on an accident, if it's a fatality accident or an injury, a serious injury accident, if we've got a person there who has willfully disregarded the state law about carrying compulsory insurance liability, there are some of us of the opinion that we wish it were possible to put that person in handcuffs and take them to jail. Dan Ramsey is president and CEO of the Independent Insurance Agents of Oklahoma. He says his members see abuse of the mandatory law on a regular basis. He points to a neighboring state that allows law enforcement to already seize license plates with a resulting decline in uninsured drivers. But Louisiana uh, does impound cars, uh, and they did take the tags off, and they went from 32%, between 30 and 32% uninsured down to 12 to 14% uninsured, which is uh, stunning to me. Under current state law, police officers already have an array of tools to deal with uninsured motorists. The mobile cop system allows officers to electronically check insurance verification. Trooper Randolph says if a motorist can't show proof of insurance and the electronic check comes back negative, the first step, write a ticket. If they get convicted of that, 
then their license will also be suspended. A reinstatement fee is $350 just to get your license reinstated. And before you can get it reinstated, you've got to get insurance for your car. Their car can be towed right there from the spot, and they'll have to pay the, the pickup fee, the mileage fee, the, the storage fee for a vehicle to stay at the wrecker impound lot until they bring their, in, their car, everything up to date, before they can get it out. And all of that can easily add up to more than $1,000. If the bills pending in the legislature become law, that figure could more than double. Going to certainly inconvenience some people, but uh, maybe that's what it takes. It has to take uh, uh, an inconvenience that's serious enough that people understand that we mean business about getting people insured. Trooper Randolph says the message should be clear to Oklahoma motorists. And I know what it's like to be poor. I know what it's like to be that poor college student that didn't have enough money and you're living on ramen noodles and you, there's no way, in your opinion, that you can financially afford to get that insurance. But the reality is, is there's no way you can afford not to get it. And a coalition of insurance agents, trucking associations, and the Safety Council are all backing the bills now in the legislature that would increase the punishment and costs of driving without insurance.